Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And this is part one of the Red Squadron X Wing Starfighter build series. And this is a kit by Bandai. And if you haven't already seen, the previous video in this series was the unboxing. So if you'd like to go back and have a look at that, um, give you an idea of what I'm faced with here. <laughs> um, and while you're at it, subscribe and hit that notifications button so you can get notified as uh, each um, part of this build series comes out. Okay, so um, Star Wars and Bandai. I have never built a Bandai kit before. I've never done Star Wars, but I am keeping with the ship theme. So as you may know from my other videos, I build ships. Spaceship? Eh, same, same. Bit different. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so this is part one. And what I've decided I'm going to do is this kit comes with the 172 and 144 scale. So there's two in here. I'm going to build a smaller one first. Um, just as a I guess it's a practice thing. So 144 scale will be the first one I do. And going by this, this sprue here is in, which is section A1, 2, and 3, and 4, is the whole of that aircraft, including the stand. So not many parts, quite simple. Um, you used Bandai before, I've been told that you don't need glue, they just clip together. Um, so that's the plan. Now, uh, another thing I'm doing is I've been told it's best to paint these while they're on the sprue like this, or at least undercoat them, all the parts. And I'm in the process right now. I've just joined an X-Wing Facebook forum to get some advice. Because what I was thinking is these are the paint undercoats I have. So I have Steinal Res. And I have a choice of either using the black or a white primer. Now, the idea with uh, the black primer is that when that goes on, the base coat I'm using is Insignia White. It's an SMS premium paint. And when it goes over the top, the darker primer underneath will allow the shadow detail because there's a lot of detail in these kits, like really, really nice. Um, it'll allow the shadow detail to come through the base coat uh, and um, and just gives it a more well 3D popping out effect um, particularly when there's all this little detail of the engines and so forth in there you know, really uh, so now the question I had for them was that will the black Steinle res be too dark and affect the colour of the insignia white and turn this into a grey, you know, or how much am I going to have to put on to cover this black primer properly, you know, and yet still have the panel lines and the detail come through. Um, the alternative is I have Steinle Res in a white. Now I could do a, a white primer through over the whole thing and then come back with a panel wash uh, and do my panel lines and all the other little areas uh, on here, which would probably also, um, which would also mean that I would put the Steinle Res white undercoat on, then spray the Insignia white over the top, and then I'd have to put a clear coat so that the um, panel line will run through and go on nicely 
um, and and nice here, yeah, nice and neatly, and can be cleaned off when there's bits that are over too much. And that. So anyway, that that's where I'm at now. Um, I've literally just posted that on the forum. I expect these guys will give me an answers. I'll get some answers and some choices and options. And these guys have got the experience. Like I said, I've never built this before. So, and that's also why I'm doing the first one because. Um, you know, either way will probably work, but one's going to be a little bit better than the other, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll get that uh, answer and I'll decide on that and uh, we'll, we'll come back and have a look. But basically, I'm just going to prime this either way. I'll be primed while they're on, on the sprue like this, um, dried properly, and then we'll decide where to go from there. Okay, so I'll be back shortly and we'll have a look at what progress and which way I've gone. Okay, back, sh back shortly, thanks. Welcome back. And uh, so we've come up with a decision. Um, my friends on the Facebook forum, X Wing, um, what are they? The X Wing Builders Anonymous group who have some fantastic models out there and obviously a lot of experience um, i'm going with the suggestion of using black steinol res as the base coat so i'm going to spray it to black and then when that dries we'll hit it with the insignia white um, I, i'll probably because obviously black and white it's going to be quite a contrast. It will probably take about three layers, light layers of white for it to properly cover the black um, and yet still leave some nice shadow detail inside, inside some of these little areas here. So you can see in there, see the detail on those, and even on these, the engines here. Trying to show that even in the wings there, look at that detail in there. So a light covering of the insignia white should just go across that beautifully and, and still leave the dark areas inside those recesses. I mean, I'm still going to use the panel line wash uh, and other weathering stuff, but this makes it look more like, well, as they said in the forum, studio quality. <laughs> but anyway, this is only on the smaller version of the two ships, uh, of the two fighters. So, okay, I'm going to go and give these a coat of paint. And um, the base, I'll leave that for now. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Yeah, definitely won't be just leaving it plain like that. I'll uh, get some sort of uh, terrain looking effect on there in some way. Work that out later. All right, back shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. And as you can see, I've given this a undercoat of um, Primer, which is the style res black primer. Um, it's gone on as usual quite well. Uh, I also noticed these um, screws that these are on all have little bits in the corner here that allow when you've painted it to be able to put them down on a flat surface and they're not touching um, any painted parts, which is a very good idea. Um, now, also with this, I've painted this um, with 50 50 thinner, um, and that helped the flow much better through the airbrush. I think my previous problems I was having with another model, I was not thinning my paint enough. Also, my um, airbrush here. Um, 
Uh, this isn't any big, you know, badger or, you know, Firewater or any particular brand. This is a ModFX one and uh, it does the job. Uh, you know, it's probably you know, about half the price of those other airbrushes, but they seem, it, it seems to do fine. Um, what I've done now is I was spraying with a 0 0.05 needle um, and that was from my previous model I was building but this being much smaller I've switched this and put in a 0 0.2 needle so I'll be able to uh, thin my base color uh, about say 30-70 so that's 30% color 70% thinner I'll be using um, that's if I use Tamiya I'll be using Tamiya grays on this model which will need to be thin but the Signa white which is going to go on top of this doesn't need to be thin this these SMS paints are already thin now you can thin them more if you want to but i've never had any need to and um so this you just tip straight into the cup and spray it if you've got anything left over you tip it back in the bottle um, so good stuff this point um now this primer doesn't take long to dry an hour i'll give it because it's a bit of a cooler day and it's raining um you know i'll give this a couple of hours to dry and then we'll go over it with the base coat in of this SMS. Um, what else was I going to say? So it was a little bit tricky with the um, primer uh, getting in there and getting a proper coverage while they're on the sprue here like this. You know, because you've got other areas that are sort of blocking the direction of the spray a bit. So I'm contemplating whether to take them off to do the base coat on them. Um, that just presents the extra problem of holding the individual pieces. Um, but that's no, not an issue. Um, I've got toothpicks, I've got blue tack. Um, got multiple ways of holding these bits um, even putting down some um, masking tape um, upside down and then using that to sit pieces on hold them in place while you spray them works fine but I also have a collection of little pegs here so I've got these little plastic ones here Let's see these are really handy to have. Um, there's some little ones that are a little bit bigger. These are wooden ones. And I've also got what we call these alligator clips, which you stick a toothpick in the end and, and they'll hold a piece as well. Um, only thing is with these ones is they're really strong grip. In some cases too strong. So you've got to be careful what, where you're attaching these. Um, so but there's plenty of choices um, and of course blue tack on the end of um, little toothpicks cocktail sticks as well works fine but anyway that's it so far uh, we'll be back in a second and uh, we'll see you after these are dry which way I'm going to decide to um, handle these while they're painting on the base coat okay back shortly cheers Okay, hello and welcome back and uh, managed to set up a separate camera in the uh, spray painting booth which is just a spare room with a little table in the corner by the window does the job um, I don't have a airflow for the fumes but with the window open and if the winds blowing in the right direction um, the fumes will go out the window if not I've got a fan mounted on the other end of the or sitting down the other end of the room there that I can turn it on and 
blow it out there. So either way, we're good. So let's have a look at these. So we're gonna give these a, a coat of the base um, in Signa White. These have been drying for three hours now, so I know they're, they're ready to go. Um, put them out of the way. Uh, so I'll try the paint on the base piece first. Now, I was thinking of um, taking them off the sprue before I painted all these, but then I figured, well, you know, if I have to touch up a little bit, I will, and that's not going to be a problem. So, get the um, airbrush ready to go. This I've already shaken. It's a good idea to put uh, little ball bearings in, the, in your bottles to help you mix the paint. Um, also, if you have them upside down while you're shaking, just helps a little bit get that paint off the bottom. Like I said, I've already shaped this up. This SMS paints don't require any thinner. I've never needed to. You can thin them down if you want. Um, and to thin them down, you would use something like um, there's an airbrush thinner there by Vallejo. Um, they had their own, of course, thinners if you needed. So pumping this up to about 20. 5 psi. Just check the spray. I've got a bit of water in there. I always leave a bit of water soaking in there. Get that out. It's dry. Yeah, we're all good. So we're going to put a little bit of paint in. I'll put my mask on anyway. Now, one little trick. You can hear me under the mask. Um, is find what I'm looking for here. Toothpick. If you use a toothpick to tip the paint into your bowl, it stops it running down the side of your bottle that you're tipping it out of. Okay, you see what I mean? So what you do is you put that there. You hold it against the bottle, aim it where you want it to go, and Boom, goes straight down the toothpick and you don't get a mess. There you go, perfect. Put the lid back on there. Looks like the tank's got enough air in it now, so that compressor's turned off. Put that aside. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's fine. You know, it's that right consistency pretty much out of the bottle. Just give it a bit of a test on the board here. Yep, looks good. Alright, now I'm just going to put on a glove as well. need my glasses. I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'll take that away because that's sort of creating a bit of glare. Alright. Oh, I hope we can put that angle right. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. Let's get a bit of paint on here. A light layer at first. Leave that for a moment. Seems okay. Probably could use a, a tiny little bit of thinning. We'll leave 
it and it'll be fine. In fact, I might just bump the pressure up just a little bit. Okay. It's at about 28 psi now. Let's try a bit more. You can hear that. It's blocking a bit. It's blocking, see that? I've got that. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we have a few problems with it. Yeah, I'll have to go and thin this. It's just a little bit of thinner in it. Again, we'll be back, back shortly. Okay, so I've uh, thinned this out with some uh, Mr. Color leveling thinner. Only a little bit, so I put probably about 20% thinner in here. We'll see if this makes a bit of a difference. Okay, welcome back as we're ready to do our second coat. Uh, our pieces are here. Which are nice and dry now. It's only been about an hour and a half, but um, that's fine. Um, nice warm day today. Okay, so mask back on. I'm going to put some, uh, let's see, close the window a little bit. It's the main road out there, it's a bit noisy. So we're just ready to go. Pump up the Get the pressure up. Nice, ready to go. Put some paint in here. Again, I've thinned it. Plenty of thinner in there, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's the signal white going in. Side. A bit too high there, we'll just put this pressure down. Okay, so just under 30 psi. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? Be organised here, glove. These don't want to cooperate. Yeah. Think talcum powder on your hand before you put the glove on apparently helps. I don't know. If you know, hey, comments below. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get this uh, looking a bit whiter if we can. Nice. It's 
still causing me a bit of grief here. I'm happy with that. We'll just compare that to another piece. We'll see how much uh, whiter that is. Yeah. Second coat much better. Just need to do this bit down here now. Sorry about the sudden ending of the video and the epic music. Um, learning how to use that camera and uh, didn't charge the battery enough, did I? Anyway, our parts are painted. All finished here. Came out quite good. And uh, I think that we'll call this a video. Uh, in part two, we'll start putting this little fella together and uh, look at what else we need to do. So. Thanks a lot for watching and please comment below if you have any um, suggestions, ideas or thoughts, just write them down in the comments below and um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, it helps and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, these videos are going to come out quite often and uh, like I said earlier in the video, go back and watch the unboxing of this the video before it. And um, yeah, this is uh, it's going to be quite a, a good build. So I'll see you in part two. Bye for now.